and welcome back to Ocean Block here on Music Free Gaming. I am standing in front of a little contraption I put together off camera to do a little bit of automation for me. So <laughs> this is automation is the is the thing here in, in Ocean Block. And when we last left, you can kind of see the house out there in the background. Way over there. That one right out there. That hat showed a sort of an automated sluice setup. Well, I went and automated the thing. So right now I've got a chest. Well, the chest is now empty, <laughs> but it's got hoppers back here, the feeding feeding sand right now and gravel into the sluices. Right, so I'm getting all this good stuff. The uh, the little pumps here are keeping it wet. So yeah, so I've got automated stuff. I've got enough diamond for, uh, well, it's four, 14 chunks. It's, and it'll eventually end up being useful amount of diamonds. It might be, what, three? <laughs> so it's getting there. I think I need four to make a diamond mesh, which will speed up this process considerably. So that's something to do. Um, also, I've got this auto hammer set up. I think I want to move it and change what I've got going here um, a little bit. Maybe craft up a few more of uh, these automated jars, because I think that's definitely going to be the way to go here. So that is my plan for uh, for uh, things today. Hopefully, I'll actually be able to keep things going well enough and not stand in the campfire for long enough to uh, actually pull it off. Okay, so I took down the jungle tree that was sitting here. I'd really like to move this right over here and connect it with a hopper to this chest. Unfortunately, I don't have any, I don't have enough iron to make hoppers. <laughs> Let's, so I've got, I, I've got this jar set up. This had been making lava. I changed it so it was making iron. And so now it's dumping iron over here. So I'll let it cook through those iron clusters so I can get enough iron to make some hoppers and things. Uh, and I'll get this set up here, but that's going to take a minute. So while that's happening, I started a little bit of a pier out this way. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up some dirt, lay it out here for some animal spawns. Cause it'd be nice to get cows and chickens, uh, or, you know, food and then leather and stuff, especially from the cows. And maybe I'll set up a spot as I come out this way for a mob farm, you know, that type of thing, just future planning. But the, uh, I think the animal pen is going to start sort of out this way. Though I think I really should uh, give myself a little run for grass. Because I think grass is going to be sort of essential. So that's going to take a while, you know, as I just run this out this way. But that's the plan. So get some grass growing out here, eventually chop it off, but hopefully, you know, I'll get this platform built, get some animals there, and that'll be a win. Well, I'm, well, I'm waiting for all of this iron to cook so I can move my machinery and maybe rig some fun, uh, fun stuff to feed into my, my happy, happy sluices over here. Okay. The, uh, Animal pen is done, sitting out here. Unfortunately, there's no grass in it yet. That's that's just gonna take time. I've got it, it's connected to the grass here. Eventually that'll grow and just run down that way. It's just gonna be a slow process. Uh, once it's done, I'm gonna take out this dirt here. In fact, I should probably come over this way and maybe slap a few torches up on this, otherwise, the mobs I get in here are not going to be the nice, friendly ones like cows and chickens and things. It's going to be the slightly less friendly ones like zombies and creepers and things. So, I think I'd like to avoid that problem. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So, we'll let that grass grow. And let's see, how am I doing here on iron? Doing all right. I am going to have to feed some more stuff to the sluices, but that's coming up here in a minute as I deal with some of this automation. Ah, so, yeah, 
progress is slow, but it's coming. It's coming. We'll get there. Okay, I'm back, and I have a little bit of setup going on here. <laughs> Honestly, this is probably the worst setup ever, but it's a thing. So, I moved my lava generator, right? This guy takes cobblestone under heat, and will fill out lava into this container here. And it will eventually fill it up, except I have this guy over here, which is a cobblestone generator, which takes water from this tank, lava from this tank, and then pumps the stone up this way. And then feeds it back down into the lava. So I have a very slow cobblestone generator. It works, but you know, it's slow. What I can do is while this is going, I, I can flip the switch for a minute, feed some of this stuff down into this chest, which then fires off the auto hammer and goes and sits here in this chest until I flip this switch and then that starts feeding, um, that feeds the stuff in those hoppers down eventually into the sluices. Right, so like, and if I decide, oh, I didn't want, you know, I leave it locked, so when it feeds gravel in here, if I decide I want sand, I can pull it out manually and shove it in there. It's a, it's a little janky, and it said uh, manual, there's a lot of manual to that process, but it absolutely works. So, you know, I'll, I'll go with it. However, I think what I might do is grab a, I've got an iron bucket around here somewhere, and that's a clay bucket. Uh, that's also a clay bucket. I had an iron bucket around here somewhere. Probably turned it into something. I don't know. <laughs> something somewhere got that got used that bucket, maybe. I don't know. I'm so confused. I can't speak words. I suppose I can just craft an iron bucket. Um, grab some lava out of the, the tank there. And just build a manual cobblestone generator as well. Just for the... So just for the lulls, but also just because I think I could use a slightly faster way of getting some, uh, getting some lava. At least that's the, or some stone, right? Just use a classic old school cobblestone generator. Then I could just hammer it out, right? It's slow, but it will, it will work. So for now... So this has got another 48 seconds. I'll try to snip, slip in there, scoop out some lava with the bucket. Hope the clay bucket will work. If not, I'll go craft another iron bucket because it's around here somewhere and set, set that up. In the meantime, the other thing that's going on, grass is slowly starting to make its way out to the farm. So hopefully once that's taken care of, then yeah, I can... I'll get animals spawning out there, and it'll be great. It's just going to take it a little while. And I th I think that's far enough away. If While I'm tinkering over here, I think that's far enough away that critters can spawn. So that's assuming I did the math right, which is always an interesting question. So. Okay, so here's the new fangled cobblestone generator. And here's the old fangled, actually, stone generator. That's the way I've got it set up. So I've got the lava pouring across the top, of course I've got the water right there, and boom, it generates stone. Now, when I use a regular tool, obviously I'll get cobblestone from this. Huh, that was a little slower than I was expecting, okay. But uh, when I use a silk touch, if, if and when I eventually get a silk touch pickaxe, then uh, this will work great, I will have all of the stone that I could want, right? At least that's the plan. So, so yeah, awesome. So old school cobblestone generator makes it easy. I can just throw, so if I want to, I can just throw that stone in there, let the hammer go and generate gravel. So yeah, all that good stuff. Now I actually need to, uh, 
Let's filter some sand here as well. Also, do I need... I forgot. I do need some redstone. Um, because I'm just starting to run out. And I think redstone comes through... Yeah, it's dust. So I'm going to have to run some sand through this crusher as well. Uh, which is... Okay. I mean, that's fine. I can do that. It's annoying, but it's doable. So, yeah. So that's... That's what's going on. Uh, started to, I'm slowly eating up the rest of this island, too. But, you know, things will eventually get get someplace useful, right? That Sure they will. But, yeah, so this is, this is cool. So this is actually starting to fill up here a little bit. This is, oh, because I didn't turn that back on. <laughs> I turned it off so I can get some lava. Uh, so now it's going. The one thing I don't have going right now is a way to automatically fill this water. I'm sure there's a way to do it. Um, there's probably a water pump of some sort that will pump water from the ocean into a fluid tank. I just don't know what it is. <laughs> I, I, it's got to be there somewhere. Right? Sure it is. So... Got some, got some stuff to uh, figure out. Oh, man, it's been a lot of time for what seems like very little progress, but seriously, progress is happening, I guess. I don't know. There's a ding in the background. That's probably important. <laughs> it's a sign that important things are happening. Okay, so I've been looking at this for a while, and it's got a problem. This process of lava generation is slow as heck. And I think that's partly because I've got a regular campfire here. Apparently, if you get us like a soul sand campfire, this thing rocks. The problem is you can only get soul campfires with, well, soul sand. And the last time I checked, which will actually be as I'm speaking to you right this very instant, um... There isn't a lot of ways of getting soul sand in the overworld without a bunch of magical stuff. However, it turns out I can actually build a portal. Now, I can't do it the old-fashioned way with, uh, you know, an arch of obsidian and stuff. No, what I have to do is create paintings. So you start with another painting, right? And you cook up yourself a nice little nether painting. But <laughs> that's a one-way door. So what you also have to do after this is done cooking is create an overworld painting like that. And that'll cook. So, so I've got my nether painting. As soon as this is done, I will have an overworld painting. And then, in theory, I can go to the nether and, more importantly, come home again. Because, honestly, I don't want to get stuck in the nether. That does not sound like fun at all. All right. I'm going to slap down this uh, nether painting. That's ah, awesome. Um, before I go in, just real quick, for those wondering where I got the obsidian, I just went over here, switched this to obsidian. In fact, I should switch this back to cobblestone. Yeah. Um, I'm not going to start it yet, though, because I want to fill this lava up just a little bit more. But now... I have a nether dimensional painting. So I guess, got the overworld painting, good. Ooh, you know what might be helpful? You know, just, just a, a, a little bit helpful would be, at the very least, a pair of gold boots. Because uh, I really, uh, and uh, yeah, leave the flippers here. I don't think they're going to be helpful in the overworld. So... Or in the, the nether. <laughs> They're great in the overworld. Not a lot of water in the nether, so. Put on the gold boots to sort of keep myself safe there. And I should probably... Ooh, you know what I should probably do? Is make myself a sword. Because that seems like a, a thing that would be helpful. <laughs> you know, just just a, a little bit of... Swordy goodness. I have 
so it's a small blade. Right. Which I... Oh, I can't do it with iron yet, because I have no idea what I'm doing. That's, honestly, that's the reason I can't make it out of iron. Uh, I'm sure there's another... Oh, I need handles. <sighs> handles. There we go. Couple of handles. See, I... I can occasionally figure out what I'm doing. So I've got a handle, got a small blade, and now I have a stone, stone sword. Sweet. So now I feel a little bit better better about going into the nether. Uh, let's, I don't know how to actually go into the nether, but at least, at least I have, I, I feel better about myself. Okay, so. Let's see if I can get the key. Ah, there we go. Um, eh, huh. Well, this is less helpful than it could have been. Um, wow. I've got all sorts of not cool happening here. Okay. Well, hey, <laughs> I'm trapped in a glass box. Now, apparently... There's an island over that way, and there's a fortress. I can actually see the fortress over there. It's a strider. That would be awesome if I had the the stuff I needed. So, well, this is just peachy. We'll just, uh, I think we'll just drop that sign there and, uh, come on, <laughs> jump right back into the overworld because, uh, Frankly, the nether is dangerous and scary, and I don't have the uh, blocks I need to get anywhere. But it'll be close. I mean, actually, let's jump back here for a minute. And fortunately, it didn't just drop me right into the lava. That would have been bad. Um, so yeah, so there's... I'm going to nether wastes. There's islands. I was hoping, hoping for some soul sand or something, but yeah, that's just not a thing apparently on the map. Yeah, there's fortress. There's polished basalt. I don't know. There might be something over there. There's all sorts of good stuff. So I don't know how to get around in the nether apparently. So... Maybe there's a lava boat. Maybe I can get a warped mushroom somehow. So I can t coax a strider. I don't know. But whatever it is, this isn't it. So, well, so much for plan A, I guess. <laughs> Just too bad. What the heck is that? It's a strider with a Lego head? Okay, that's just kind of wrong. All right, well, in the meantime, <laughs> I guess back here where it's nice and safe. Okay, well, the nether run was a bust. Apparently, I can get some soul campfires in um, red barrels, which would be awesome and amazing. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to extend this out just a little bit. There are a couple of things out here in the ocean I want to see what I can see what I can find, right? There's this island right here. I've got my little swim fins on, so I can, should be able to swim back there. Um, and we'll see if I can maybe find a red barrel, because that would be, that would be slick. Also, this is just hilarious to watch. You know, I'm just gonna make my way running across the top of the water because I have swim fins and they are awesome. And those are slimes. Cool. Um, slimes, in fact, are cool. But I'm going to come over here to this boat here for a minute. One, because it's got stuff on it. And two, I don't have a sword in my hotbar. And that seems like a mistake. But let's see what's in these barrels. Got uh, break a green barrel. Menril logs. Okay. And broken hearts. 
that's just, oh, okay. Plus four max health points. Okay, both of them are second pieces, apparently. I don't know what that means, but it's apparently a thing. So, yeah, but over here there are slimes. Slimes are exciting, and that's... That's kelp. Which is also exciting. Okay, come here. Let slime, you are great and and big and also somewhat dangerous as I am. Okay, what's the slime with the dog hat? Apparently I have an angry wolf mask now. I Lovely. Alright, hang on. Okay, the slime with the pigtails and the one with the Norwegian flag, this is just... Okay, it's just a little bit awkward. However, I'm going to grab some of this kelp because... Kelp is cool. Slimy leaves. Congealed slime block. Huh. Okay. This whole ground seems awkward. All right. Well, let's, uh, let's get this sky root log. I have no idea what it is, but it seems like a good thing to have. Also, I didn't bring a bed, which seems like a bit of an oversight at this point um and i don't want to take down both trees just in case i do something kind of silly but grab those grab a bunch of these saplings and sky slime dirt earth slime grass yeah see i think if i scoop some of this up oh it stays what it was Okay, cool. Well, maybe what I'll do... We'll just scoop a little bit of that up. And... I said I have no idea why it would be cool, but... Got lots of slime and stuff, so... Sweet. Now, I think... Ultimately, being out here at night... Is going to be a problem, but... It's okay. Well, uh... I'm sure, oops, pickaxe, I'm sure everything will be fine. Nothing dangerous. Ooh, a hovering hourglass? Weird. Okay, got the saplings, got the hearts. Apparently they don't stack. Mob souls? Okay, that is, it sounds cool, but also really scary. I'm also not... Oh, great. Break a crate. And I got stuff. Don't know what I got. Uh, some mycelium. That could be helpful. It's a little bit of... The string I think I already had. Oh. All right. Well, this could be... Sky slime ball. Huh. Lots of fun... Oh, that looks like compressed... Oh, a lead. A lead is a good thing. Compressed gravel. All right, well, that's okay, too. Sweet. Well, let's see if I can make it back home. Maybe by way of this. And because, you know, I don't have any inventory space, so if I get something, that's not great. All right, never mind. I'll have to come back here when I have something like a bed. You know, something nice and safe that's going to uh, keep me alive. But that slime island seems really useful. Especially if I can collect mob souls, which I guess are used for something cool. Don't know what, but something cool. And maybe, just maybe, I can start getting some other stuff going on. On the plus side, I do have kelp now. So I can start getting a kelp farm going because that'll be good kelp blocks make a lot better fuel than uh, bamboo does and the, the little bit of <laughs> the little tiny bits of coal I get out of this thing so hey at least I have corn got that going for me All right. just about out of recording time for today but I want to see if I can plant 
Okay, I can't plant the this, this sapling on the regular dirt. Can I plant it here? If I take this sky slime dirt, can I just... Yes. Okay, cool. Just in case it turns. And let's take a little bit over here. And let's plant this uh, sky root sapling. Grow, baby, grow. And sweet. I have no idea what those are going to do for me, but... It seems like a, a good thing. So, hey, we'll we'll go with it. All right. Well, that's about all the time I've got for today. I've got some new saplings. I still have corn, which is awesome. I've got my, my new uh, cobblestone generators and lava generator. All that stuff is set up. Made a really lousy trip to the nether. So, hey, you know, it's it's been a day. Uh, so... If you've made it this far, of course, like the video, subscribe to the channel and all that good stuff for more fun and excitement. And until next time, be excellent to each other. And this is Music Free Gaming signing off.